Hello everyone, in this video I explain a question about the capacitance unit 2 in the future in physics. It, this question, try by yourself at 23, it is in page 128. But we change. Now that is the question we need to solve. He said uh, 470 microfarad capacitor is connected to a 20 volt supply calculate the charge stored on one plate of the capacitor we draw to solve this question we draw that circuit so this is the source power supply has positive and negative so now that, that plate becomes positive charge and the other plate becomes a negative charge the capacitance of the capacitor is 470 microfarad. So we say that this is C1. It's 470 microfarad. We can, we have to change it to farad. So it's 470 multiply 10 power negative 6 to be in farad. And let the voltage of the source is V0. So V0 is 20 volt. In part A, we need to calculate the charge stored on one plate. So we use the formula Q equals C times V. Let this is Q naught. And this V is V naught. And this C, it is the capacitance of the capacitor in part A, which is C1. So C1, it's 470. Multiply 10 power negative 6, multiply V0 equals 20. Then we use the calculator to get this answer. So it becomes 9.4 multiply 10 power negative 3 colon. So this is part A. Now we need to solve part B. Part B, he said the capacitor in A is now disconnected from the supply. So we take it, fully charge it from the source and connect it to uncharged 200 microfarad. So we connect that charged capacitor to uncharged capacitor of 200 microfarad. Thus we see that connection. This charge will be transmitted from one plate to the other, from uh, uh, one plate of C1 to one plate of C2, and from other to other, and it will be stopped in equilibrium state. In equilibrium state, it means V1 equals V2. So in equilibrium, this process will continue and will be stopped when V1 equals V2. It means that they are parallel connections. So this is the first. Now, what will happen in that connection? So actually it is parallel because this also will continue and it will be stopped when V1 equals V2. So it means that they are parallel connection. The second part of that question, and why the total charge stored, the total charge stored by the combination must be the same as to answer A, because the charge is conserved, because the charge is conserved. So the total charge in the first one, the total charge in part A, it was Q0. So Q0 actually equals Q1 plus Q2. Now we need to solve part B. Uh, part B, the second, calculate the capacitance of combination. So in the second part, what is C total? Because they are connected in parallel. So C total equals C1 plus C2. C1, it's already 470 microfarad. And C2, it's 200 microfarad. So it becomes here... Uh, 600, 4 plus 2, 670 microfarad. So it means 670 multiplied by 10 power negative 6 farad. This is the total capacitance. Calculate the capacitance of combination. This is the total capacitance. 
Now we solve it part A, part B, the first and the second. The third part of B calculate the potential difference across each capacitor. Let us, we talk about this part. This is a negative charge and this is a positive charge. So when we connect them, that positive charge will be transmitted from that plate to this. So this one here positive and this becomes also positive. Okay. And this one is negative charge. It will be transmitted to that plate. Then this plate becomes negative. Now let the voltage here is V1 and the voltage in that one is V2. We apply Kirchhoff's second law. Let this is the loop. So this is the voltage here. Uh, from Kirchhoff's uh, second law, the sum of V around any closed loop equal to zero because the uh, energy is conserved. Now, this is V1. This is the direction, okay? And this here, it's opposite. So, V1, okay, minus, because here the, it is opposite voltage, V2 equal to zero. It means V1 equals V2. Let V1 equals V2 equals V. We say before, the charge is conserved. So it means the Q naught equals the Q1 plus Q2. What is Q naught? Q naught, it is C1 V naught. Q1, it is C1 V. Q2, it is C2 V. Remember, C1, it's 470 microfarad. And the V naught, it is the voltage from the source, which uh, it was 20 volt. And now C2 equals 200 microfarad. From this equation, we can take V as a common factor. So uh, C1 V naught equals the bracket C1 plus C2 V. So V, that is the voltage on each capacitor after connection equals the C1 V naught over C1 plus C2. We can calculate that voltage. C1 is 470 microfarad and the V naught is 20 over C1 plus C2, 470 plus 200 all in microfarad. We multiply 10 power negative 6. We calculate this. So the value of this is 940 over 67 volt. It is approximately 14 volt. So this is here. Uh, calculate the potential difference across each capacitor. So across each capacitor it is 14 volt. Now the fourth part of B. Calculate the charge is stored on one plate of each capacitor after connection, this one. So we need to calculate Q1 and Q2. Q1 equals C1 V. What is C1? It's a 470 microfarad. And the V, it is approximately 14. So the answer of this part is 6.59 multiply by 10 power negative 3 coulomb. What about Q2? Q2 equals C2 V. C2 is 200 microfarad. So 200 multiply 10 power negative 6 and V is 14. So we calculate this value. It becomes 2.81 multiply 10 power negative 3 coulomb. So this is the last part of B. Now, part C, he said, how much electrostatic energy of, capacitor, of the capacitor in part A is lost when it is connected to charge the other capacitor? Let us we discuss this point. 
before connection to the other capacitor, let the energy is W naught. It is half CV squared. What is C? It is the capacitance of the first capacitor. What is V? It is V naught. We calculate this one. It's half multiply 470 times the 10 power negative 6 multiply V naught 20 squared. So the answer of this one is 9.4 multiply 10 power negative 2 joule. So this is the energy before connection to recharge the other capacitor. Now what will happen when we connect uh, the two capacitors together so this is C1 and this is C2 so after connection we have here the energy uh, in uh, stored in capacitor 1 and energy stored in capacitor 2 so now we calculate W1 plus W2 W1 it's a half C1 V squared because the voltage on C1 equal the voltage on C2 is V plus half C2 V squared. We can take half as a common factor, C1 plus C2 multiply V squared. We calculate this value. So it's a half, C1, it is 470 plus 200 multiplied by 10 power negative 6 because they are in microfarad. Multiply V squared, V squared, we calculated it before. So this it was 14. So it is 14 squared. So we calculate this value. It becomes 6.59 multiply 10 power negative 2 joule. We have difference between the energy before connection, 9.4, and after connection. So what is the lost? He said here in that question, how much electrostatic energy of person lost? So the energy lost equals... 9.4 multiply 10 power negative 2 minus 6.59 multiply 10 power negative 2. So it becomes here, we calculate this, 2.81 multiply 10 power negative 2 joules. So this is the energy lost. That energy lost as what? As heat in the wire. And also because the charge is transmitted from one capacitor to the other, we have electromagnetic radiation. So that energy lost as what? As heat and electromagnetic radiation because the charge is transmitted from one capacitor to the other. I hope you understand this question. Thank you.